Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So for today's fun little thing, it's almost like, this is almost like a challenge because it's a challenge to me because I don't know about you guys, but I am not a fan of drawing small. I always take out the entire page when I draw stuff. So this is extremely similar to when I was painting super small, except this time I'm coloring really small things. And I mean, I've done this before where I've made smaller things, but these, what, are, what I'm making, if you go into Hobby Lobby and next to the canvas this one time, I saw a package of trading card pieces of paper. Now they were built just to be trading cards and I thought, oh my gosh, this is awesome, but it, all it really is is just like little pieces of Bristol board cut out to the size of Pokemon cards. So these became my new favorite things because when I go to places, instead of carrying these big um, 5x5x8x5 inch like huge pieces of paper, that they're huge compared to these. But I always find that if I carry those around to give away if I'm at the Disney parks or at an event or anything, then they always get damaged somehow. It doesn't matter if they're wrapped up nice and neat, they always seem to get damaged, or 9x12 watercolor paintings always seem to get hurt too. So it's always either the corners get bent, or the middle, they get creased. Somehow it's not safe and I can never take them anywhere. So when I saw these little packages of trading cards at Hobby Lobby, I was like, this is perfect. I could create little itty bitty mini doodles to give out to people and they still would be quality pieces of artwork for me and they'd be a challenge to make them this small and plus I can throw in more details and they're just cute little itty bitty cards and they're original pieces of artwork and I thought this is perfect to give away. And so I started this back at Dapper Day for Walt Disney World this past spring. I started this, I started giving away these little trading cards and I went to Hobby Lobby into their jewelry section and I found the little cute jewelry bags and they were so adorable and I thought I've got, I, this is it, this is perfect. I can put my little business card in here and I can put in my little trading cards, put them in these cute little jewelry bags. Perfect, we're done. I've got my giveaways. So these are probably the first five that I'm going to be making and I'm actually, this coming week I'll be at D23 so if you're watching this way into the future and you're wondering well what event is Priscilla going to go to to give these away? Well it's going to be D23 2017, I'll be at this convention so if you're watching this in 2018 chances are you probably missed me. <laughs> but I thought these would be super cute to go ahead and give away and since I am cosplaying as Wendy, one of the days at D23, I went ahead and made Wendy and I made Belle because Belle seems to be the big hype this year of 2017. <laughs> so I have Wendy and all I'm doing is just, if you're ever wondering why in the world does Priscilla use call erase pencils on her Copic marker drawings and I never, almost never erase them and here's the secret to that. The reason why I use call erase pencils is because they, they're a bit of a time thing for me because they eliminate the part where I sketch something out and then I line it or I get too scared that my actual graphite marks are going to go ahead and blend in with my Copic markers and start to shade it really weird. So that's why I don't use like regular graphite pencils on Copic marker drawings because with the color race blue pencil the, if for some reason the alcohol in the Copic markers goes ahead and it absorbs the blue pencil marks and it's still kind of cool looking because you're looking at the sketch and you can still see the little blue marks but it blends in well because I do shade with purple and blue like like a lighter blue and a lighter purple to shade and it kind of like blends in with the blue color race. So that's why I like sketching out with call erase pencils with my Copic marker doodles be just because they blend in so well. Like you can see on Pegasus, the blue marks where I was marking him and where I shaded with that blue, it actually goes perfectly together and the Copic marker, alcohol based marker, goes ahead and it just absorbs that call erase pencil. And I always save 
my ink lining for last just because I'm too scared that my Copic markers are going to go over my lining and they're going to just completely smear it. So that's another secret. <laughs> it's not any secret, it's just tips and tricks when you're coloring with Copic markers or alcohol based markers. I use a color race by uh, Prismacolor colorized pencils and then I go in with my Copic markers, I color it in. I don't bother to get rid of any uh, sketch marks or anything and then I go in and I ink it. But yes, these are just five of the trading cards I'll be passing out at D23. I'll also be at Disneyland on Sunday. So yes, if you see me, chances are I have something for you. So come up to me, say hi, and chances are I'm going to hand you one of these little cute little Disney trading cards. But yes, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this fun little speed lapse of these cute little trading cards. And maybe you can go and challenge yourself. Grab a couple of packages of those cute little trading cards. And it's a challenge to fit a character into, into such a small like what is it two by two inches it's not even that it's probably bigger than that i don't know three by five <laughs> but yes guys i hope you have a most wonderful day and i'll talk to you all later bye